Hi Leo, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your reading. Let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on the cards. This reading is going to be summarizing and reading signs. And if this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube. And thank you for supporting other tarot readers on YouTube as well. I'm now accepting personal readings, so if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all you have to do is click on the link in the description box down below. Right. You have the Two of Wands as your overall energy for this reading. The Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm. The Six of Wands. And then the Four of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. The Four of... Mm, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. There's a choice when it comes to love, actually. There's a big decision that you have to make here, all right? There are two people coming in, but one after the other, all right? So one comes in first, then, and then the other, if you get what I'm saying. Five of Swords as your overall, no, not overall. The underneath the deck is the Five of Swords, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Underneath the deck is the Five of Swords. So you're kind of pessimistic when it comes to one of these people. Just one of these people. Or actually both of them. You're actually kind of pessimistic when it comes to love in general. Uh, one of these people hurt you, has heavily hurt you in the past. Or it, you dealt with someone who's hurt you and has really changed the way of how you see relationships. How you see love. How you see people coming in for you. Coming in towards you. It's really changed your perspective. I'm telling you, uh, it's kind of a, in a pessimistic way, in a negative way, which you have to, I want to say review for some reason. You have to really reflect on. There's something that you need to heal. All right? Leo, you have the Two of Wands as your overall energy, right? Your overall energy. You do have a choice when it comes to love, all right? There is a major decision that you have to, to make. This is someone who's... There's someone naturally looking at you from a distance, I have to say. Someone looking at you from a distance. Someone who needs to travel to come in to, work, to see you, to meet you. Um could have been looking could be someone looking at you online for some of you i know it's not a an, a page of swords but i'm picking up on someone who's looking searching for someone's social media accounts i don't know who that is but take it out resonates You feel you feel like um, the person that you dated before or that you were in a connection before you feel like for a certain period of time you've been stuck on this person you've made this person as your entire world just don't shoot the messenger when i say it it's what I'm, I'm i'm picking up on that's what i'm getting for some of you for one of you i don't know just you made this person as your entire world your world revolves around this person the person that you've dealt with so it really took a toll on you when you broke up when you separated when this person you know moved on without you well apparently how how it seemed they moved on pretty fast 
But you, you're someone who loved with all your heart. Leo, you're someone who loves actually very passionately. I have to say, I'm actually a Leo moon. You love with all your heart. You love fiercely. And there's nothing wrong with that. All right? Now, the Queen of Swords to the Knight of Wands. And I'm picking up on this is the person who's hurt you in the past. All right? Could be another, could be someone new, but for some of you, it's heavily the person from your past. You're actually very guarded. And for some reason, I'm seeing the Queen of Swords stabbing. <laughs> try, try, uh, the Knight of uh, the Knight of Wands wanting to get near the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords would like threaten you. I'm gonna stab you if you come near. <laughs> Just kidding. But I'm picking up on someone that guarded, that guarded. All right. Um, hmm. Everything's clear to you now. Things have been clear. That that moment of waiting, the you know the time being of just waiting for the right person to come in, it actually made a lot of things clear clearer to you. The kind of person that you want, how you wanted it to be treated, right? It's not that you're cold to this person, but I'm actually getting like a you don't want to waste your time. You know this person's intentions. You know clearly that this person won't stay. So you won't waste your time. You'll just swing that sword. I'm still picking up on someone who cannot commit. And you know that, Leo. You know that very much. And this is someone who's who's actually seeing you glowing up. Nine of Pentacles, pre empress energy. This is someone who com who comes in, uh, love bombs you, tells you they miss you, they love you, they realize they can't live without you. But the thing is, they only they only say that they only come in because they see you glow up. They see you getting a lot of attention, probably, and they don't want that. But they're not really in the kind of energy that you want, right? They're still in the Knight of Wands energy, someone non-committal, someone who's kind of a player, someone in and out of your life. It's still that. They haven't really changed. You very much focused on yourself, your money, your career. There's a lot of glow up. And actually, you actually have, actually, actually, you have a Knight of Pentacles coming in. I mean, a King of Pentacles coming in. For some of you, you're very much focused on, you know, growing your money, growing your business. All right. But more so, a King of a king of Pentacles wanting to show up, male, female, it's not really a gender-specific reading. We're looking at the energies. But you're closed off to this. Like you're protecting your heart space. What are their real intentions? This is someone who wants to actually offer you stability. Believe it or not, this is someone who wants to offer you stability, Leo. Not the Knight of Wands who just wants to play around. What is the outcome? You have the Temperance card, the High Priestess, and then the Eight of Cups. Okay. You have Temperance, the High Priestess, and then the Eight of Cups as the outcome. So you're not ready to let anyone in yet. You're really not ready. You're still being patient with yourself. All right. You're trusting the process. 
of letting go and moving on and forgiving, All right? I actually like this, Leo. I actually love this. You have the strength card, the tower, and then the sun. These are two Leo cards. Just a reminder. You can be anything you want. All right? Just be yourself. Just be your wonderful self. The things that need to fall, the things that need to crumble, let it fall, let it crumble. You're strong enough to handle it, I'm getting. And better things are coming in for you. There's a lot of expansion, a lot of abundance coming in. If you're picking up on the sound in the background, that is my dog. You have concern, 33. Could be seeing a lot of 33 threes lately. All right. But when you do set three plus three is six, that is the number of love. Could be dealing with a Gemini. That is a lover's card. What does the Knight of Wands want to tell you really? I love you unconditionally, really. I love you unconditionally. And then you speak to me through music. And then I want to tell you how I feel. Which brings you concern, I guess. Are they really telling you the truth? All right, don't stop. Don't stop. All right. So that's all I have for you, Leo. I hope something in this reading resonated. And if it did, please give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next reading and stay blessed.